Hey, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Frankie Vaughn. Where the hell is Frankie Vaughn now? Check this out. That is one big crow. He's a beast. Look at him. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome. We are here. We just lost, well, we just welcome again Frankie Vaughn with double N, B O N, Frankie Vaughn. Welcome to Van Dwell and Van Life here, the adventures of Frankie Vaughn. Where is Frankie Vaughn now? So, just want to give you a little lowdown here. We're chilling out here. We are in almost, we are right outside Moab, Utah, the San Juan Mountains. And we've been traveling since this morning, not too far. We had a great breakfast. Excuse my French. I had a couple of egg sandwiches and biscuits and sausages. And then I just had a big old burrito, egg burrito with barbecue pulled beef. Awesome. Down from Maverick Gas Station. So uh, this is Van Dwelling and Van Life with Frankie Vaughn, The Adventures of Frankie Vaughn. Hopefully you guys are getting me, getting out there, checking me out, and I hope you can hear me. I believe this is working. Um, got my cooler. Got my cooler, trusty cooler. Got all my gear. I got my gear up here. Snowboard, skis, snowshoes, um, hiking sticks, um, whatever else I need. Uh, ski boots. Uh, I got all my medicine and my vitamins and my shaving kit, my buddy heater, my awesome bed and my clothes and my ski gear under there, clothing and workout clothes and uh, my mountain biking gear. And this is my trusty 250 E250, E250 Econoline Ford van. I just turned a quarter million miles on this sweet thing. Um, this is my awesome mountain bike. It's a little old. It's a 2011 Stump Jumper. See, I got my credit card right there, just in case. <laughs> I got my Stump Jumper, 2011. It's a cross-country bike. It's an expert Stump Jumper, 2011. Got box forks on it. It's a great bike. I've upgraded a couple times. Specialized Shimano components. It's a great bike. It does the trick. It's been to British Columbia. Um, it's been all over... Uh, Mount Hood, Oregon, uh, Washington. It's been in almost every state except Michigan. Um, and what else? Uh, I've been, uh, I think, Wisconsin. No, I think I've been to Wisconsin. I can't remember. I have it all written down. So this is uh, my wonderful rack. Check this out. My buddy fabricated this rack for me. It's amazing. And that's my trusty... Uh, Bianchi, uh, it's a road bike, has straight bars on it, so I got my chains up there, I got my, I got some weights, so when I'm not next to the gym, I can train, and I got my uh, propane heater, I mean my propane for my buddy heater, in case I'm outside, I gotta, I'm switching over to the little one, the little adapter, you know, little canisters in the buddy heater. I've been very fortunate on this trip, I've been in Utah, it's been very warm for the last five days or so, four days I think I was there, I can't remember. I've been on the road now nine days, nine days, um, and uh, it's going amazing, man. You can see you see in the van, hopefully you can see in the van. It's a little messy today. I got it insulated, double insulated, double rug, double carpeted. I don't have the internal heat anymore with the deep cell battery. I took it out because I was having problems with my generator. I mean, my uh, uh, my um, inverter. I went from a 1300 to a 2500. And then I found out the battery was dead. The battery was four years old, the deep cell battery. So, uh, again, quarter million miles. I bought this van for 4000 4200 4200 bucks. Well... 4100 The guy gave me back $400 because I had a catalytic converter problem, if you want to get technical. And then I registered it in Rhode Island when I bought it in 2014 in March. 
2014. I just moved out of New York and I got on the road because I didn't have a car. I had traveled in a car prior to this, two cars cross country and around North America. But then I switched, I moved to New York for 20 months, city, uh, a week before Sandy. And uh, it was great. I hadn't been in New lived in New York since I was a small boy. I'm originally a New Yorker. I grew up in Rhode Island. Um, so um, I got this truck at 182,000 miles. I bought it for, like I said, 4,100. It had brand new tires. It had brand new everything. It was a pretty good deal. I've seen better deals, though. So, I mean, you can really get some great deals. Uh, it's a heavy-duty 5.4 engine. Um, and I, this is my fourth season out. My fourth season out, um, I've switched the bed around. It used to be vertical. Now it's horizontal because it's a better sleep. I couldn't sleep in that little bed. I needed more room. And I lost some storage space, but I have more cooking space and living space here. And I just put that dresser in, storage. I got it right there. That's where I could cook if I want more storage there, like a table. And here is my cooler table. Um, I am a chef. Um, I'm a caterer. I'm a hospitality guy, professional waiter, professional bartender, professional cook. That's what I do. Um, so that's how I get to live my life, van life, van dwelling. I've been doing this, uh, uh, like I said, four years now. It's my fourth season with this truck. And I love it, man. I've been getting ready. I'm on my way to Moab, Utah mountain biking. I just came from Salt Lake City and Utah. And before that, Las Vegas. And before that, LA. I was, I'm living in LA now. Um, I worked. And this is my time of season to get out. I buy a ski pass and I travel. Uh, I buy an epic local ski pass and I travel all across Colorado and Utah and California because that's where the pass works. And then I do a summer trip also. I usually do a summer trip. Um, I didn't do a summer trip this year. Um, where did I go? I went to San Francisco for like five days, but I've been working my tail off. So, um, to do this trip, to save money from the last trip, because I was out of work for a while and I didn't have any subsidies, you know, and, uh, this trick is, uh, there's a woman driving this tractor trailer right here. I love seeing women driving tractor trailers, man. Gets me hot and bothered. You know, saw a woman earlier driving a Mountain Dew soda truck today, and she was delivering energy drinks and Gatorade and uh, older woman too. I said, she's a better woman, I said to her, I said, well, whatever it's worth, you're a better woman than I, because she's out there working every day, supporting her family, feeding her family, driving a big rig. It was like, uh, probably like a 30, 22, 24 foot, you know, Pepsi Coke truck with the sliding doors. You know, and she's, I know she was in her late 50s, probably mid 50s, and she was out there humping and, you know, I admire that, you know, um, feeding your family, doing what you got to do. And they make pretty good money. They do okay. They have good benefits. Uh, I'm sure they could do better. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, my truck. This is my life, van life, Frankie Vaughn. I do live periodically in the big city. Um, so, because I work, that's where I work. But, I mean, I could go to Colorado and stay there. I can go to Utah and stay there. It's, I mean, Utah is huge developing. Lots of work, lots of sales jobs, lots of tech jobs, lots of developing. Um, and when you're out west, you can live in your truck. You can live in your camper if you don't want to succumb to modern-day uh, apartment living, you know? So... You could buy a trailer. They trailers are easy, cheap, inexpensive. You can live in a van. You can live in a, 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 a Sprinter. You can live in. Uh, there's so many options these days. You know, um, you could put a pull trailer, a fifth wheel. There's so many great options. I like the truck because I like to live in the truck well, that I drive right now. I would like eventually get a like maybe a Prowler or something nice. They make some great lightweight aluminum pull trailers that are like 17 feet 19 feet 22 feet and you can get them really cheap these days it's amazing and um it's really really amazing how inexpensive you can buy pull trailers today and even fifth wheels you can get ninety thousand dollar fifth wheels for like 
50 grand, brand new. They're throwing them out, putting them out, pushing them out. There's so many of them around this country, and you can just go and search it out and, you know, buy one and put it on a piece of land, buy a piece of land for 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars, and you're in, you know, or you can go inexpensive. You can get trailers, used trailers for, I, I like simple living, small living. I don't like a lot of stuff. I don't like a lot of room. I feel lost. I'm a cottage kind of guy. I've always lived in small spaces. I don't like big apartments. Um, and that's why I like my van. It's quaint, it's quiet, it's comfortable. But I will be upgrading next year and uh, to a stand-up van. So, uh, you know, I think that's enough. If you have any questions, I hope you guys follow me, share with me. And uh, Instagram, Frankie Vaughn, V-O-N, Frank J. Vaughn at Yahoo.com. If you have any questions, um, you could go to Frankie, I-E, V-O-N-N. That's one of my pages. And then my other page is Frank J. Vaughn, Frank Vaughn, uh, at Facebook and YouTube also. So I hope you enjoy the time with me out here in the San Juan Mountains. And we're going down. That's where we're going down there. That's south, southwest Utah. Moab, Grand Canyon. I mean, not the Grand Canyon. Canyonlands National Park. Arches National Park. Um, what else? Uh... Slick Rock National Park, Porcupine Trail. Uh, they have some of the best mountain biking in North America in the Western Hemisphere here in Moab, Utah. Motocross and rafting, climbing, rappelling, um, just amazing hiking. Um, what else? Four wheeling, dirt biking, jeeping. Uh, Moab, Utah. It's amazing. Moab, Utah. Hydrate, moisturize, eat your vegetables, love your mama, call your daddy. I'm Frankie Vaughn. Thanks for following, share it. And I want to stop following you guys too because I want to see what you're doing. I want to see what's going on in your life and how you're living. And you're living van life and adventure life and liberation and freedom through, you know, van dwelling and traveling uh, the world. Because that's great. That's what's awesome. That's, whoo, man, I love it. It's invigorating, you know, invigorating. So I'm out. Check me out share send me something i'll follow you and if you like me or you have a question or you know what i'm saying i'm saying peace i'm out of here Woo! yeah peace